name is Frank Everett, and welcome to Frank's Files. One of my favorite parts about working for Sotheby's is the travel. Sotheby's does jewelry auctions in Hong Kong, New York, Geneva, and of course right here in London, which is my second favorite city in the world. So while things are a little quiet in New York, I decided to sneak over to London and see what's going on with my colleagues here in the jewelry department. So let's get inside and see them. I am thrilled to be here today with my friend and colleague, Christian Spofforth, who is head of sales here in London. What's your next sale? Online sale, March the 21st we open and 28th of March we close. Fantastic. So all these pieces will be in that online They will sale. indeed, yes. So please tell me about this necklace. This to me is just kind of the perfect everyday wardrobe essential. This should be in every jewelry box. It's uh, by French designer Georges L'Enfant from the mid 20th century. Mm -hmm. In 50 years time, you're still gonna be wearing something like that. I wish foundation. you could feel it because it's just something I mean, I think I would want to wear this. We've got a lot of beautiful gold pieces here. We have to go right to the wonderful La La Unis pieces, which I recognize from Greece. So many of his pieces were quite unique. The, yeah. the heavy gold that he used, he often used 22 karat gold. Um, which is much higher in its purity, makes it softer because of the, this wonderful rich depth of color. Yeah. Classical designs that he was inspired by, absolutely beautiful. And this is also from the house of Lala Unis, right? It is indeed. The consigner, by family repute, uh, this was the brooch worn by Elizabeth Taylor when she was visiting Greece. Whether it's exactly the same one is uh, slightly difficult. But it could be. It could well be. And uh, what's this cute little hedgehog? Absolutely fantastic hedgehog design, ring by Boucheron. Boucheron. Just beautiful, the tiny little face on the hedgehog makes it a really, really sweet piece. It's fantastic. Great. All right, so moving from the gold jewels into some platinum and diamonds, I see something very special here. Well, I see here you've got sort of the holy grail of jewelry, which is an Art Deco piece by Cartier and this one is a double clip. So fantastic design. We see it set here as the brooch, but obviously it comes off the rear brooch fitting, separates into two double clips that can be worn on either lapel, both on the same lapel, on your overcoat, or formed back later in the evening into a brooch to be worn on the dress. Or here. Perfect against dark cloth, brings the diamonds to life, looks fantastic. We're seeing more and more pieces like this too on the red carpet on men. If you happen to watch the yeah. Golden Globes, I can't tell you how many lapel pins and brooches men were wearing. So, very exciting to see a Cartier Art Deco piece. More Art Deco here. More Art Deco is beautiful. beautiful. Lovely to have the two pieces together. Yeah. Um, the bracelet and the necklace, both from clearly the same collection and same designer as they match so exceptionally well. Emerald beads, which look absolutely wonderful on the skin as well. Yeah, they exactly. move, they roll. This just looks to me very Downton Abbey, right? Exactly. Well now, surprisingly for a London sale, we're gonna look at some American jewels. Margarita Masterson, wonderful name. Texan jeweler, these are wonderful pieces. She was uh, inspired by river gems. This is glass. Or it is glass. Paste, exactly, and then the, the rock crystal. Rock crystal beads. So here she used pearls, and again, is this glass on the front? It, it is indeed. You can see the similarity between the two, the design yeah. of the centerpiece. But again, this sort of uh, a water theme coming through with the pearls this time. Interesting. So now we're going to move on to another American designer, which I'm very surprised to see in a London sale. <laughs> it's uh, very rare for us to have a Tony Duquette piece. I wish you could feel the weight and the heft of this. Tony Duquette is one of my favorite designers. We sell him very well in New York. And um, he really started his career as an interior designer, credited sort of with inventing the Hollywood Regency style of interiors. This would have been a later piece made with fine materials, 18 karat gold, beautiful citrines, and just absolutely embodies his design philosophy, which was more is more. All right, now I think we're gonna finish up with this wonderful pair of earrings by Cartier. Not particularly old, in fantastic condition, and yet it's that harking back to almost exactly 100 years ago when yep. Panther de became the iconic design for Cartier. Yeah, an amazing story um, designed by Jean Toussaint, who was the uh, design director for Cartier at the time. Highly unusual for a woman to be running um, the design for a house like Cartier. And to think that her design of the Panther is still so popular and still produced in so many ways at Cartier to me after 100 years is just incredible. So thank you again, Christian. This was really a pleasure. The sale will be open online March 21st through the 28th, the London online sale of jewels. And it'll be exciting to see where these pieces go. So thank you so much. Pleasure. Always a pleasure. You.